That's right. That is the latest information we have. We've watched as they've been working to contain this fire. You can see some of the crews still on duty here at the Franklin Fire Station as others work to put out hot spots. We know the National Guard has completed multiple water drops. And meantime, those who have been evacuated are waiting to hear that they may return home. This is now an eight alarm fire here in Baltimore County, which is unprecedented, especially for a brush fire. It's a scene you'd expect to see out on the West Coast, burning acres of land in Baltimore County, Maryland. It's just been shocking. I, I got up to just step out for a minute and um, the, the sky was had this orange hue. So it almost looked like after a tornado, you know, that that it was actually beautiful. But then I saw billows of smoke. And so I was thinking, wow, what in the world could have possibly happened? Fire crews called to Soldiers Delight Park around 3 p.m. for a rapidly spreading brush fire, with reports of flames reaching 300 feet high along high tension power lines. This is a non hydrant area, so there's no fire hydrants, so it makes it very difficult to shuttle water in our trucks and get control of the fire. 200 emergency responders attacking the flames, burning 700 acres of land. Light wind and dry conditions playing a role in the spread, leading to the evacuation of more than two dozen homes to Franklin High School. That includes Maria Zufall's family, forced to leave as flames crept up to their property. She says ashes were coming down on them as they evacuated. All we've really seen was smoke and fire trucks everywhere. And it just, the smoke was just rolling in, getting farther and farther, closer and closer to us. It had to have been a scary scene there. Thankfully, there have not been any reports of any injuries and just some damage to a shed from the flames. Meantime, the American Red Cross is on scene here helping those in need. They say that in the coming days, they'll be offering recovery resources to the nearly 30 households displaced from this until they can return home. Live in Baltimore County, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.